Hundreds of thousands of dollars are gone, and a company is shut down tonight in Rio Rancho. A tip led police to investigate a property management company for embezzlement. Well, KOET Action 7 News reporter Kirsten Swanson is live from the scene tonight to explain what they found. Yeah, Royal Police took boxes and boxes of paperwork from Double R Realty today. They say that the paperwork inside hopefully will give them some clues as to how someone allegedly pocketed money from homeowners they had set aside to put in repairs into their homes. Thomas Geringer's home is a mess. There's just too many problems with this place. He spoke exclusively to Action 7 News and showed us the damage, the roof leaks, and last week the entire water system gave out. So he called the plumbers. And they came out and started the replumb of the whole house, and they got halfway through it and then stopped. This rental is managed by Double R Realty. Geringer says there's supposed to be money set aside for home repairs, but it wasn't there. So Rio Rancho police started to investigate and found an employee allegedly embezzled hundreds of thousands of dollars from the company. Today, detectives carried away filing cabinets and boxes, two full trailer loads of financial documents that police hope can provide a better picture of what was going on. It's going to take quite a bit of time. A minimum is, is a few months, a couple to a few months. Meanwhile, Double R's clients are reeling. We just had a woman walk up with check in hand, ready to pay her August rent to this company. She says she doesn't know where she's supposed to go now. Whoever, whoever's at fault, I hope they face what's coming to them. Geringer says he's done. We're just going to move and put this behind us. We're moving out of this house? Yes, next week. And he's out a lot of money. We put another deposit down on another house that we were supposed to move with with the same company. So that's gone too. Now, police say double R employees have been very cooperative through this entire process. They expect to charge at least one person. What charges, though, they're not sure yet, and no one is in custody at this time. Reporting live in Rio Rancho, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Okay, thanks, Kirsten. Rio Rancho police do not know yet how many people are affected by this, but they've determined at least nine homeowners associations are run through double R. Now, those span across Rio Rancho and into Albuquerque. UNM's top lobbyist 